Do you ever wear clothes? Hey everybody, um, so um, I haven't made an update because, well, when I can't find my SD card, and I'm assuming my sister has it, I don't know. I have to find it, but um, I've just, I've been so busy, so, so busy, but um, so I should be, what, 12 weeks? around 12 weeks, 11 or 12 weeks, who knows. So, um, I went into the doctor today. I was fully intending on daily vlogging, starting that today. I'm like, well, that, that would be a good day to start, you know, go hear the heartbeat. Um, so I'm gonna start daily vlogging. So I got a video up on my phone and, uh, we got there. And so the doctor started talking about how, um, because I got so pregnant so soon after my C-section that there's a good possibility I could get a tear, like a wall or whatever, a window in my um, uterus, which is your uterus tearing because it's not completely healed from the scar. And uh, that's the case. I forgot what she called it. She said that it's not inevitable, but it's highly likely to happen. And if that's the case, they'd have to take the baby early. Um, anywhere from a month or two early. Um, which to me is really, really early. And it's scary in itself. Um, but, um... I'm not going to discuss a lot of stuff today, um, so they, um, went to look for the heartbeat, and they didn't hear it, they didn't hear a heartbeat, so I don't know, Maybe she, you know, she's the kind of doctor that's just like, you know, she can't, she did this with Oliver, you know, like when I was over a week overdue, she's like, well, you're only measuring at 37 weeks. There's no possible way I'm three weeks off. I've been measuring up to date and now you're just suddenly saying I'm three weeks off. No. So even with the blood test, it should show that I'm, I was still, I should be at least, even if I should still at least be 10 weeks, you know? And she's like, well, you could be a week or two off. You can be a week or two off. That's why we're not hearing a heartbeat. I understand she's trying to comfort me in a way, but there was no heartbeat there. And I'm freaking out. But I have nobody around. My husband's at work and... So, I, uh, I go in tomorrow. She's like, you can go in tomorrow for an ultrasound so then we can get your due date. And she wants to see if the baby's alive. And so she wants to see that, the due date. And uh, so she's like, you can either do that or we can wait another two weeks to see if we hear the heartbeat. So let's see, you're giving me my options of tomorrow or hey, why don't you just hold out for two weeks to see if there's still no heartbeat. And I said, I need to come in tomorrow. There's no way I can wait. I can't wait. And so tomorrow, I go in at four o'clock. It's gonna be the longest 30 hours of my life waiting for this. I can't eat, I can't do nothing. I know I was excited about the pregnancy at first. <laughs> but I was getting there. I was picking out names and <laughs> I don't know what 
to do. I've been through miscarriages and those kills, but this kill is so much more. Never made it this far, like, you know, unless I miscarried beforehand, then if I've never made this far, I have no heartbeat. I just... Well, why would they tell me that I was at least eight weeks along? If they thought I was at least eight weeks long. I know the blood is not completely accurate, but why would you? If I'm not even close to that far along. I mean, even if I was looking at the blood levels, and I would have to be at least 10 weeks, at least 10 weeks pregnant compared to the blood levels taken a month ago. I don't know. I just, I have nobody to talk to about this really. I told my mom. Oh, I had posted that it's going to be the longest 30 hours of my life on Facebook. It's not good. And so she called and she asked why I wrote that. I told her and I mean, she said I should have called her. And I mean, I should have, but I didn't want to upset her. And she's like, now I'm upset. And that's why I didn't want to tell her because I didn't want to upset her. I mean, I literally, my husband's at work, my sister's sleeping, I have no idea, and I'm all by myself, and I can't deal with this. I don't know what to do. I had a bad feeling for like a month, I had a bad feeling. I don't know, anyway, I look like an idiot, crying. <laughs> you know what my understanding is? I just say, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian. I don't like to question things, but I mean, seriously, why? <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. And the one person I want to talk to, she's at work, and she's an hour behind. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Be careful what you wish for, right? But it makes me feel really guilty for you and feeling like I didn't want the baby in the first place. Like I was all free to tell when I thought I was pregnant. I don't know what to do. Anyway, sorry about my rant, but I wanted to update you guys. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd say like and sub like the video and subscribe, but I don't want anyone to like this video. <laughs> All right. So, um, I'm gonna make another video tomorrow after the ultrasound, and I will update you guys and let you know. I mean, obviously there's still a small chance that there could be a heartbeat, but I mean. Alright, I'll update you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.